This is it. A can't-miss game and a backdrop to match what is a special occasion. The fans had this one circled on their calendars long ago, and now it's a matter of who will dominate on the pitch. Top players, big characters on the big stage, a highly exciting prospect. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. Good evening, tonight the spotlight falls on North London. We find ourselves at the home of Arsenal. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and ready to provide expert analysis alongside me is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere. It has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Well, it's such an eye-catching series of passes. Possession one. An encouraging Arsenal move. Opportunity to deliver the cross. Rice. Spot on with that tackle. And here's the starting 11 for Aston Villa. Douglas Luiz plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That's strong play. Now relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. But Arsenal have, statistically speaking, the best defence in the entire league and it's difficult to get around them or in behind them. Well, they press the ball at the right times and then drop off at the right times too, which is key to any good defensive structure. Their tactical understanding is absolutely brilliant, which is why they've conceded so few goals. Watkins. Good-looking move, this. Cuts it back. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Gabriel. Into the advanced position. And smuggled behind for the corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Not a short corner here. William Saliba. And the deflection behind then for the corner. And short it is. Oh, great defending. Well, high marks for that pass. Good ball over the top. Bailey. Fed in low. Well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. Declan Rice. John McGinn. It's with Douglas Luiz. Well, they're on the scent of something positive. And let's give credit to the defending. Martinelli. Now, counter-attacking possibilities here. Might lead to a chance. Opportunity! Well, that was easy on the eye, and he didn't miss by much. Well, that's how to counter-attack. They did it with such pace. Just couldn't finish it off. And 
cutting it out. And we will have just one additional minute. Rogers. Douglas Luiz. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. And there goes the half-time whistle. Arsenal find themselves on level terms at the break. Your analysis. Well, once again, their defensive play has been excellent. They've closed the ball down quickly. They've stopped crosses coming into the box. And I can't see them conceding today. But can they now go and win it? So the match has restarted here in Manchester. Really good challenge. Trying to open them up. Lastly, time tackle. Declan Rice. Martinelli. Havertz. The fans want to see a shot. Kai Havertz, it's there for him, and a goal! 1-0 it is, they've been pushing for the opener, and now they have it! Well, just look at the setup here, it's such a clever back hill, and the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish, it's a really great goal. So underway again here, one nil the score. McGinn. What can they do from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Well, we're into the final half hour. Martin Odegaard. It's with Erdogan. Well, they're quite content to knock it around inside their own half. Jorginho. Jorginho. It's with Gabriel. Declan Rice. Now can they make something happen? A super tackle and they've won possession. And they need to get tighter here. Douglas Luiz. On to Tielemans. Real chance. And a goal to square the game. Edge of the seat stuff. Well, here's the replay. He does well to find that bit of space in the box. And then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off. That's a good goal. Well, that picture says it all. His team are back in the game now. Back underway. Level pegging. One goal apiece in this game. It's a message for Caitlin. Caitlin, can you please return to the ticket office? Your husband is waiting. Bailey. Bailey. 
shielding the ball superbly. Who can he pick out? Well, he could have put it away again, but credit to the goalkeeper. Well, the way he's playing, he's surely going to get his second goal soon here. <laughs> Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, you can't really head them any better than that, but the goalkeeper was up to the task. It's one corner after another. Let's see about the delivery. Could still be dangerous. Well, they can keep possession of it now. Well, the Arsenal fans are driving their team forward here. Just listen to this noise. They can sense a winner coming. Alex Moreno. Esri Consa. Pau Torres. And now with McGinn. Well, Aston Villa have had all the ball in the last 15 minutes. Not just in terms of possession, but also with the chances they've created. And that winning goal is surely just round the corner. Cash. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Douglas Luiz. And now with McGinn. Can they nudge in front late on here? Cutting it back. Textbook defending inside the box. Declan Rice. It's with Takahiro Tomiyasu. And there's the whistle. They cannot be separated after 90 minutes.